What's up guys, well, welcome back to the channel, so today just want to show you Weird by Youngblood on the guitar, so uh, just want to show you everything included with the solo and some of the background music which is actually there, so let's get started. So guys, keep on the second fret we have, and let's have a look at the chords, guys. First, so keep on the second fret. So let's have a look at the chords. So we have the first chord A major, which is zero two 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 zero, and top string muted. Then we have an E major, which is zero two two one zero zero. Then we have a F sharp minor, which I like to play like this, or you can even just play the traditional bar chord. So might face some difficulty with the F sharp minor chord, so you can just practice. It's a four. It's a two four four two two two. Then we have a D major. It is mute mute zero two three two. And that's it for the chord section, guys. So you know the chords, guys. Just a couple of chords we have. Now let's have a look at the structure of the song, guys. So we actually got for the structure we got the intro, then we have the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, a solo, then a verse, pre-chorus. Chorus and solo at the end. So let's have a look at it. So you know the structure, guys. So the verse, the cor the verse, the intro and the pre-chorus is exactly same uh, with the strumming pattern as well as with the chord progression. So let's have a look at the chord progression of the verse, intro and the pre-chorus. So it will be a E major, then an E major, then a D major. Now what I'm doing is I'm just playing the E major on the first count. One, two. Then on third count playing the E major. So one, two, three, four, and on the next one I just play the D major and I just let it be one, two. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. So I actually do this rhythm for the intro verse people. I, I, I hope you can understand that we're just going on simple down stroke for each chord. So there's nothing so with my right hand. So E major, one, two. This is a nice and easy course even though if you don't know the course you can just practice a bit and then uh, like uh, changing the chord position um, shifting the course and then just play along with me the intro verse and pre-chorus exactly same one two two four And that's it for the intro verse pre-chorus even for the next verse next pre-chorus now we're just gonna have a look at this part this actually goes for the whole song i noticed so just want to show you this part but before that uh, remember one thing we're actually doing palm meeting what's palm meeting having this part of your hand rest it in front of the bridge of the guitar to get a very soft sound nice thing palm meeting so palm meeting if you just have a look at the tab it, uh, everything is ready to the capo on the second fret we are playing the fifth fret with our pinky uh, down up down up four times so we are actually going down up down up so we're not going down 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 we're going down up down up we're coming over here on the second fret over here on the B string then you come to the fourth fret on the G string again down up down up again on the second fret on the G string down up down up throughout the whole thing we actually got Gonna play a bit fast. So that's nice and easy. Now we're just gonna go and have a look at the chorus, guys. Now for the chorus, we have a different set of chords. We have a F sharp minor to an E major to a D major. So instead of playing the E major, we actually go to the F sharp minor chord. Now, if you just have two problems with the F sharp minor chord, you can just play the E major for this case. For the chorus, F sharp minor, E major, and D major, but the rhythm over here is most important. So it's better just have a look at my right hand. So what strumming pattern will be down, down, up, up, down. So 
So I actually go down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Main thing is you always keep your hand moving. So it will be more easier for you to strum as well as sing at the same time. Now there is certain thing we just want to tell you. So on the strumming pattern we just break it into two parts. We have the down down, then the up up down. So what we do is we're just gonna play the chords uh, randomly, F sharp minor, E major, D major. But we're just gonna try to break the strumming pattern. So what we'll do is we play the F sharp minor chord down down, go to the E major, you play up up down. And for the next time when you go to the D major chord, you again do down down, up up down. Again okay, you come over here down down. This actually varies. Sometimes you are going on the F sharp minor up up down, then you are coming on the E major doing a down down. Sometimes on the D you are doing down down, or sometimes even you are just doing an up up down on the D major. So that actually brings uh, more flavor to the chorus, uh, makes the rhythm more uh, different sounds sounds well. So down down up up down 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 up up down. So you can see it actually brings a lot of change over here. So let's play together. actually goes even for the solo part. Solo you're just playing over So for this part even you're just going with this chord progression and strumming pattern, this rhythm. So it seems that you're playing more than three chords, but you're actually not. Now you know all this part, I just want to show you the solo over here guys. So let's have a look at it. Now main thing, I'm just going to provide you with the tabs, but thing is, the solo, the tabs are actually relative to the no, to no capo. Because it actually makes more easy for me, I'm going to just no, don't use the capo and figure out the frets and all. So no capo, now you have it, just playing the solo. Let's have a look at this portion of the guitar. So if you see, I just used two fingers uh, while playing this solo. So actually I'm having four in fret on the B string. Look, have a look at the solo I'm playing, 14, 16, and now make sure that you're doing down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 So actually do all the picking, don't just go down, 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 down. I don't recommend that. It's gonna, uh, likely, maybe a bit slow, if you just uh, do down, 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 but if you just uh, allow yourself to do down, down, it will be more easier for you. Just practice, it may take a while, but get it. So we actually go down 14 fret B string. Then we play 16 fret twice on the B string. Down up. Again back over here. Play again 16 twice. Again back on the 14 fret of the B string once. Then we play the B string thrice. Down up down. And then you come over here on the B string second fret. And you do a uh, slide from the 14 fret to the 12 fret on the B string. And you play the 12 fret once. So we actually got. Now you just gonna repeat this thrice. So I say you just gonna repeat this thrice. So if I play slowly, play something like it. Second time. Last time. Now on this part, what you just gonna do is you can just gonna play uh, for the fourth time. Just gonna play four in fret, four in fret. Back to slide over here on 12th fret. What we did for the solo at the end, we just doing this over here. 14th fret to slide on 12th fret, and you play the 12th fret once more. So if I play very slowly, it will act something like this. Now we actually go once for the solo and for the uh, first solo and then the last one just last chorus we actually go with the solo for two times so two times win I'm just gonna play so that's almost everything for this song guys you need uh, hope you enjoy this lesson don't forget to subscribe guys because it's gonna do something special for 1k subs so don't forget to subscribe guys um, and make sure 
Uh, let me know down below. Uh, any song that you want to learn on guitar, and see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.